Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to see uh, how we can generate pay slips for the employees and how it can be approved. So uh, let's go to administration and HR. Uh, in the last series of videos, we have done the settings in HR. We have done how we have seen how to admit employees, and we have seen how to do the leave management. For each of these three uh, links that you see here, we have published the videos in our support portal. Now we are going to uh, see employee search first of all, and then we are going to see how to generate the pay slips of the employees. So you'll get this screen. So you, if you know the um, first three letters of the name of the employee, you can search from here, or even the employee ID. So you can uh, click on this and it'll show the full profile of that employee. If you want to edit it, you can edit from here. And then uh, we can also have advanced search here. So advanced search, you will see all these options are there. This is similar to what we did, uh, what advanced search is present for student as well. So if, you have, if I want to see all the employees who are, uh, for example, in you know lecturers so I can just search it and all the employees if uh, they follow that criteria will be appearing let's say I want to see all the uh, employees who are present in the li biology department so it'll appear like this and I can view the profile by clicking on it I can even have a CSV report so this this advanced search also acts like a report for the employees uh, then let's go to um, uh, human resource and let's see how the, can we generate pay slips for the employees. To, gen to generate pay slip, you need to click on create pay slip and select the employee. So uh, let's say for biology department for this employee, I need to generate the pay slip for uh, uh, let's say il the month which is November. So here date will be coming, salary date. So just remember that w you can have it for the previous uh, year as well, previous month as well, and uh, a further next month as well. So I can give and create it for December in November, that is acceptable. But you need to select that proper month here. It can be any date, but the month has to be uh, selected for which month do you want to generate the payslip. So let's say I want to generate for her for the month of November and this is these are the details that I have already entered for her while ad, I was admitting uh, this employee. If you want to change anything it can be changed here. So let's say I'm changing this. So all the dependent components of a payroll category will change accordingly. Let's say professional tax is a fixed amount that I've set. I can set it here. Now uh, let's say for this employee only this employee there is something like loss of pay that is applicable to her. So I can uh, reset the amount here. So this is, you know, is it a deduction? Yes. So in this way, I can have categories for individual employees also. And these are the categories that are, these are the payroll categories that are applicable for all the employees. But if uh, for a uh, few employees, you would need to give bonus or you need to have loss of pay. So you can select it. You can add the category here and you can create it. So the payslip for, uh, in this case, I have already generated it for Anita. So let me select some other employee. In the same way we are going to do, so for the month of November, professional tax, I'm giving some amount. I'm adding, let's say, some category, which is a deduction for uh, this employee. So you can see it is going to give this message November 2014 salary slip generated for the employee. So what generally happens is this generation of pay slip will be uh, a member of HR will be doing it. So an employee who belongs to the HR department of your institution is going to generate the pay slips and the member of finance department is going to approve the pay slip by going to the particulars. So uh, let me see that. Let's say that I've logged in as an employee who's having uh, pay slip powers privilege. So in that case, or finance control privilege, in that case, I'm going to go to a uh, finance and under finance, I'll be having a uh, pay slip as uh, one of the links. I need to click on that link and I'll be, I'll need to select the department and I need to select the employee and then I can view the pay slip for that employee. And after viewing, I can either approve it or reject it based on what I see the particulars there. So uh, let's uh, do it for this employee, which is Vibha. So I can go to finance and here payslip is coming. View payslip is, uh, is the option from where I can approve it. I can go to the department. I can select the month. Uh, I think uh, the, the employee belongs in this department. I need to select the proper department in which the employee belongs. So you can see uh, the employee is coming and the salary uh, status is coming as pending. So when I view it, 
you'll see all the particulars will come so I've added uh, you can see loss of pay for her which is a part of a deduction now which is the extra particular that is only applicable to this employee and I can either approve or reject being a uh, member of finance department so let's say uh, let's say I reject it so let's see what is the effect of rejecting so let's say I find some discrepancy here and I reject it So I can give the proper reason here so that the member of HR can correct it. So let's say I have given this. So I'll let me go back to HR now. So here I'll, I'm going to go to uh, create payslip and rejected employee. So this is that link where all the rejected payslips will be coming. So I need to select the department and the rejected employee payslip will be coming here. So when I select the month for her, you can see I can edit it. And this is the reason that is coming. So appropriate reason should be given so that the member of HR can understand. So I'm going to edit it and I'm going to write here, uh, I'm going to edit, let's say, LOP with the proper amount. And once I've edited, I can save it. And once I save it, again, this payslip is going to get generated f uh, for this employee Vibha. And uh, the member of finance department has to approve this payslip or reject it again depending on whether the particulars are correct or not and once the payslip is approved I can go back to uh, viewing the payslip and the status will be shown as approved also uh, the approval will affect the finance reports of the institution so if I go to finance and finance reports uh, I'll be able to see the uh, salary uh, amount there so we'll see that so let's say this is it so I'm going to change it to 500 so I am again generating it editing it because it was rejected so I'm editing it I'm creating it again and once I've created I can go to uh, the finance and I can approve it so this is how the payslip can be generated for an employee there is also an option to like uh, what I have done now is I have to generate it for each and every employee by going to the department the other way of doing this is that uh, there is an option one click payslip generator that is going to come in HR so in this option if you click on it it is going to generate the payslip for all the employees so uh, you can see it is generated for Vibha let me go to finance now and I can approve it by going here so I can select the department the month and I can view it and again accept or reject it so let me just approve it so I can go back to HR and create payslip and one click payslip generator this is the option that I was talking about here it is just going to say which month so you can select the proper month here and it is going to generate the payslip for all the employees besides the ones for which you manually generated so uh, this is one click payslip generator and in case you know you want to revert it you think that you have done some mistake while uh, generating the payslip you can revert it now here all the payslips that were uh, you know pending or were not approved by the member of finance department will be only reverted once it is approved the payslip cannot be reverted so let's go to um, so this is about uh, creating the payslip of the employee and uh, you know in finance also there is an option of one click payslip uh, approval so here instead of going viewing each and every for each and every employee if you feel that the particulars are fine you can just click on one click payslip approve you can select the month and you can just approve so it will approve for all the pending it is going to approve all the pending payslips uh, just here the point to note is that once the payslip is approved it cannot be edited so uh, yeah so this is about uh, approval of payslip and I was talking about the finance reports so here when you select the report and when you select the date as you know starting starting of this month till the end of this month so I'll be able to see uh, under salary account you can see I can see it as an expense now this is these are all the approved payslip sum total when I click on it it is also going to show me you know f in which department like I just approved for Vibha it is showing like this what is the salary date so it gets added to your um, financial budget which you can see from finance reports as well uh, so this is about how you can um, uh, generate and approve the payslip of the employees then the last option here is viewing uh, sorry we can go to HR 
and employee payslip so we can uh, view it by the month so you can see it just shows the status whether it is approved or not so this is just telling whether uh, you know for a particular department uh, who all are the employees and for which month their payslips either is pending or approved so this is about the rest part of hr so we have completed hr in the series of videos now be tuned in for more videos thanks for watching